Christine. Thank you. Thank oh my you for gosh, having you're me. so funny. We, we haven't seen each other since you were my manager. Yes. He was my manager in my Christmas special. Ellie Clarkson and I Christmas was special, so yo. <laughs> I was so nervous. I told you that backstage, but I don't, I'm not an actor. So I was, and you're so funny. And I was so nervous. I was so sweaty. You were amazing. You were just, it, I honestly did the special to meet you, and you're oh, just so nice and I so cool. I couldn't and it was believe like, you said yes. It was, it was so, and I actually got to like reference. We did a scene together yeah. where I think I referenced Walk Away. I you was did. like, you, yeah. you know, I'm just, I'm yeah. not arguing with you in character as your man. I'm just going to walk away or whatever it was. It was yeah. like, <laughs> it was so bad they it was, cut it. No, it was, it was like, so awesome because yeah. it made me feel good because I was like, oh, wait, no, he knows the song. He's actually like a fan. Like, <laughs> I was, I was like, because you know, everybody always is like, oh, I'm such a fan and they don't right. know you. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right, right. You're right. like, yeah, that one song, it was great. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but congrats though. You just turned 50, right? I just turned yes. 50 years old. That's amazing. Thank you. I know I. Two questions. I know I don't look it. I get it. They no. say they say black don't crack while Asian don't raisin. That's what they say. <laughs> I've actually never heard. Really? That. You never heard of that? Oh, uh, that's on my new album. Oh uh, my god. Asian don't raisin is coming uh. out whenever. So. Oh. Yep. I've never yep. heard really? that, but okay. it's true, yes. and I'm angry about it because I'm not Asian or black, <laughs> and I'm just starting to look old. You I'm, look amazing. I'm what just are you saying, about? I'm three years away from 40, man. Tell me, you know, it gets, it's better, right? It gets cool, right? You 40 is gonna be awesome, you are right? Forever young. Whatever. <laughs> I never <laughs> age. Are you? Once you turn 50, though, are you the guy on the the lawn yelling at children? Are you I, that guy? Well, I'm does more, that happen? <laughs> I'm more the guy who just doesn't care anymore. So oh, that hit me at yeah. about mm, 16. <laughs> yeah, that is 16. <laughs> yeah. No, li literally, you know, you don't care where. I mean, I know I'm, I'm wearing this suit now. I'm looking, looking flying fly. dapper. But you know, you don't care where everything I wear is like Gap shirt, Gap jeans, yeah. Gap jacket. It's comfortable. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Yeah. This is like literally what I wore to work. These are. I don't know if the camera can get this right here. <laughs> These are first of all great are, point. Thank you. These are these are Kirkland brand socks. Not a sponsor, just a not band. a sponsor. Women's size six. <laughs> just it's the only thing that lives and breathes on my oh my God. on my foot toes. <laughs> on my foot toes. Yep. Well, congrats on season three of The Masked Singer. I was telling oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My family, thank huge you. fans of the show. They totally guess before y'all do. They're <laughs> incredible at it. So what's new this year? It is really, well, first of all, it is just such an honor to be a part of an amazing family show that it, That's cool. you know, families love it. And it's like, my kids love it. Yeah. Alexa and um, Zoe, they love it. <laughs> And it, it's just kind of, um, it, it, it's so fun to bring the family together, watch it. And this season is just bigger and better. Like the producers, God bless them. They just find new ways to reinvent themselves every year. Yeah. But the, the talent pool is deeper. They're, they're just more surprising reveals. It, it really has evolved. The show has just gotten better as, it, yeah. as it's gone along. And, and, you know, I'm invested into it as, as a fan, even if I wasn't on the show. I just, I just love, it's a, it's like America's guessing game, and it's just. I fun. love a game, so yeah. I'm in. Yeah, yeah I love absolutely. trying to guess. I'm not as good. My sister nails it every time. Really? Yes. I you're, am you're looking at a guy that's never got a guess right. Yeah. In I know. Three years. You say, right? I know. You say you're the I'm clueless judge. I'm the dumbest judge. judge on the Mass Singer. <laughs> But you have another project that's actually pretty amazing, um, Women's Cancer Research Fund, right? Yes. So how did you get started in this? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm hosting a benefit on February 27th um, for the Breast Cancer Research Fund, mm. and it, it's called An Unforgettable Night, and it is um, it's a fundraiser uh, for research for breast cancer. My wife, she's a breast cancer survivor, so and cool. yes, she's like going on 11 years. Oh, cool. Yeah, there she is right now. And, um, you know, it, it's an honor to work with that organization and other, and this, we're actually honoring Renee Zellweger for her contributions to yeah. breast cancer research. It, it's an amazing night. I was, I was there last year and the amount of money we raised was, was just record amounts and it, everything, it, it, it 
it, it is wonderful that everybody, we're all using our efforts to... Your spotlight, to, yeah. To, yeah, to yeah. spotlight. And being a former physician, you know, just knowing where this money goes and advances in, like, specific receptor therapy, it, it, can, it can make all the side effects from chemo very tolerable. So it, there's a lot of excitement, you know, in the forefront of And of I know it affects therapy. you personally because yeah. your wife, but... Yeah. I feel like cancer hits home with everyone. Yep. If it's not directly, it's indirectly. Everybody knows someone, Everyone knows someone who yeah. either has cancer or knows someone who has been affected it's by cancer. It's important you're doing these benefits. It's important everybody's stepping up and doing that. Yeah, it's important just to remind ourselves that, you know, we, we are all cut from the same cloth and that, you know, we, you know, if, if we can do whatever we can to help and heal each other, yeah. that's a good thing. Raise money, alleviate yep. things. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, I agree with you. Okay. So what can people... What can we do to help? Like, how can people help? Well, you can go to the website. Mm -hmm. I believe it's called wcrfcure.org, mm -hmm. and I, I believe it'll. And you can, um, and I'll, I'll put it on my social media as well to yeah. help contribute. And uh, yeah. but just the fact that you know, I'm, thank you for letting me even talk about it right now. It's, no, it's, we have. It's a big deal to me, so thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's a big deal to us here yeah. too. We've had actually had several stories in several different organizations on the show so far. Like. Because it's important. It's important to eradicate it. It's important to get there and get to a cure. So. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All yeah. forms of cancer. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. And I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here. Not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.